welcome to a new video that is mcqs on virology or viruses and this is the part 9 of this series of videos on virology mcqs so the first question is protein coat surrounding the viral genome is called nucleocapsid capsid envelope or hemagglutinin and the right answer is option b that is capsid so protein coat surrounding the viral genome is called capsid okay so move on to the next question that is capsid is nucleic acid of virus protein coat of virus complex viral polysaccharide or virus envelope and the right answer is option b that is protein coat of virus so capsid capsid is protein coat of virus so the next question is antigenic specificity of the virus is determined by nucleic acid viral enzyme capsid or all of the above and the right answer is option c that is capsid so antigenic specificity of the virus is determined by capsid so next question is type of nucleic acid contained in a virus is always dna always rna both dna and rna or either dna or rna so the right answer is option d that is either dna or rna so type of nucleic acid contained in a virus is either dna or rna okay so next one is property of hemagglutination depends on the viral envelope capsid nucleic acid or nucleocapsid and the right answer is option a that is envelope so property of hemagglutination depends on the viral envelope okay so move on to the next question enzyme not found in core of the virus is neuraminidase rna polymerase dna polymerase or reverse transcriptase and the right answer is option a that is neuraminidase so enzyme not found in the core of the virus is neuraminidase okay so move on to the next question that is who for the first time observed that hoof and mouth disease of cattle was caused by filterable virus and the options are ivanovsky martinez bezerink both a and b independently or frederick loffler and paul forst and the option and the right answer is option d that is frederick loffler and paul frost so these two scientists discovered or observed that hoop and mouth disease of cattle was caused by filterable viruses so move on to the next question that is who was the first man to show that yellow fever a human disease was due to filterable virus transmitted by mosquitoes and the options are ivanovsky martinus bejerink walter reed or chamber uh, charles chamberland and the right answer is option c it is walter reed so he show that yellow fever a human disease was due to filterable virus transmitted by mosquitoes so move on to the next question who first hypothesized that leukemia can be transmitted between chickens by cell free filtrates and was probably due to virus and the options are wilhelm ellerman or ivanovsky or walter reed or martinus bejerink and the right answer is option a that is wilhelm ellerman so he first hypothesized hypothesized that leukemia can be transmitted between chickens by cell free filtrates and was probably due to virus okay so move on to the next question that is who first reported that thrush leads to malignant muscle tumor in chickens and options are wilhelm ellerman ivanovsky Python Rouse or Walter Reed and the right answer is option C Python Rouse so he first reported that thrush which is a mouth infection leads to 
malignant muscle tumor in chickens and the next question is who was the first scientist to isolate a bacterial virus that can attack micrococci and destroy them so the options are frederick trot or Wil wilhelm ellerman or ivanovsky or peyton rouse and the right answer is option a that is frederick trot so he first is the first scientist to isolate a bacterial virus that can attack micrococci and destroy them so the next question is first person to report existence of bacterial viruses called phages was or are frederick wart felix d herald both a and b independently or neither a nor b and the right answer is option c it is both a and b independently so they both report existence of bacterial viruses called phages or phages okay so move on to the next question that is virion referred to oncogene plant virus chemical particle or virus particle and the right answer is option d that is virus particle so virion refers to virus particle okay so next question is viruses are directly visible under bright field microscope binocular microscope electron microscope or dark field microscope and the right answer is option c that is electron microscope so viruses are directly visible under electron microscope okay so the next question is viruses multiply by budding assembly of subunits binary fission or producing inclusion bodies and the right answer is option b that is assembly of subunits okay so next one process by which virus particle is taken inside the cell is known as viropexis or adsorption or phagocytosis or transformation and the right answer is option a that is viropexis so process by this is a process by which virus particle is taken inside the cell okay so move on to the next it is integrated form of virus is called prion provirus virus particle or virion and the right answer is option b that is provirus so integrated form of virus is called provirus okay so move on to the next question that is an infection during which virus persist in dormant form is called primary infection chronic infection latent infection or slow infection and the right answer is option c that is latent infection so the infection during which virus persist in dormant form that is called latent infection so next one who was the first to isolate a bacterial virus from patient suffering from dysentery and the options are frederick tort felix deherel and point number c is both a and b independently or neither a nor b and the option is answer b and the right answer is answer b so frederick deherel the first to isolate a bacterial virus from patients suffering from dysentery so the last question of this video is who was the first to crystallize virus that is tmv that means tobacco mosaic virus so options are martinus bejering ivanovsky wendel stanley or felix deherel so right answer is option c so stanley so stanley was the first to crystallize virus that is tmv okay so these are all 20 questions of this video so thank you for watching this video